don't look back in anger. I heard you say. No, I'll probably get a copyright strike just for fucking. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, what is going on, everybody? And welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So we are going to continue with the Lincolnshire arc here. I know I got annoyed in the last one. I didn't realise I was already moving on to chapter 3. I thought I still was on chapter 1. But um, this arc might not be as long as I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue on. Uh, straight away. Just continuing going into it and stuff. Hey, what? Hunwalk's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree with him that these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some got him out. I overheard at a bathhouse. No work in Bunken. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. <laughs> I love doing that. Stealth kills. It weren't wise to let those Mercians nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us. Alright, nice. For fuck's sake. in 
here. This could just be some extra stuff, but we'll see. Just some extra stuff, but hey, I'll take it happily. Tunnels run deep. Was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Probably keep quiet down here. They will attack on sight. More Mercians traipsing across our route. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Smuggling will always be difficult. But I prefer it to pay in tribute. Never again will we bend to the mercy and crown. They wouldn't have been fucking alerted to that guy's body didn't just fall off the back. Oh well. A long bit. I don't know, is this going to be better than the uh, bow I already have? 84, 81, 70, 69. Alright, well, we'll give this one a go then. Oh, okay, it's still got a. Uh... Okay, cool, it's still an aim one. Okay, yeah, sure, then I'm good. Oh, no, still aims. Get out of here. This 
fighting here? About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. Okay, so it goes that side. Um, okay. Because that guy is archering himself up. I don't, wait, he's firing an arrow, which I believe is going over to that guy, I think. I like these elevators type things, they're fun to use. Oh god, the last time I did one of these I fucking was here for ages. Trying to look up. So there's anything, look down, look around everywhere. So it was above the last one I was looking for last time. You know, so it's... I feel like it would be over here somewhere. That's... that's helpful. That I wish I knew that before. Meditating turns things to night, so the times that I've waited it to be fucking night, I didn't actually have to wait at all. All I had to do was wait until it was day. Bruh. That's stupid. Why didn't it tell me that? I don't remember the game ever telling me that. Thank you for telling me when now. I mean, to be fair, it's only happened on two other occasions, but still. How do I do that thing where it, like, um... How do I do that thing where it like points out objectives and stuff that uh, I don't know what it's Uh. <laughs> 
Oh, what is up there? Dry bread. This looks like it was a bandit camp. It's hard to find though. Here's the last clue. Um A Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Merchant okay. nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came. Bandits ambushed the nobles, but it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbrock Castle. And that's my best lead. All right then. Ah, fresh air. So my meditating it turns, okay right, well for future games, because I believe meditating has always been a thing. I never knew that, I think, has that always been a thing in this? <laughs> All you have to do is meditate. Oh god, I need to hop down. Julius, my friend. Oh, good thanks. Scary British people that I don't have time for. Stealthy, I can do the, how long I how, the, how long I can stealth this for. Best not, but we all know it will, it will draw attention. Nicely done.
do you see? Yeah. Things I can't just climb straight over. So the fucking logs at the bottom, so got the You can just open it. Okay, nice. Why can I not sabotage the bell? Alright, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do it to him.
I mean, I almost did it stealthily, to be fair. I'm actually quite happy with what I did so far. Because it was only the guys here that knew. already I did Track. That keep is well protected. God save me here for you. Hunbeo is his own prisoner.
them into Ability knife. Yeah, try complete. Uh, actually, no, let's have a look at it now. Some of the bow ability, I think. Yeah. Put it in for the poison one. prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? He's dead. Your Elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable, until he slipped away. Humboldt deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to. Unbold will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects. Though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Bring. Dried herbs and berries crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Yeah, that priest. He's a member of the Order. He's the, um, he's this one, uh, what's his name? 
Oh nice, we found some... Yeah, very right, nice. The bill hook. We found another one. Who knows, we could be killing this one as well. But this guy, the Kozo. He's... He's that priest, you can see his face there. <laughs> We get fucking caught. Yeah. They should probably have done a better job of blanking up the face, but I mean, to be fair, I think you can kind of guess he seems a bit suspicious because of how he was speaking and stuff, and he was basically acting like the biggest asshole yeah. he could possibly be. I'm just waiting for him to put his stuff away. Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... he... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. It's him. This guy here. He's the cult member. I need to kill him. Humwald was the son of an elderman. He take his father's seat. The title is not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Chaewulf must then ratify the decision. Uh, yeah, of course, Explain Chaewulf. how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. 
we convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunbol dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire Moot is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. <laughs> I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor. A word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, uh, thank God, you for yeah. putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. The Evo doesn't know it, but I know it. That guy is a cult member. He's part of the Order. With Hunbiol's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I shall find him before they do. Right, well. I need to start venturing down this tree. Go 139. Speak to. These are the two quests. Speak to Alfregar. I, mean, I might as well do this one since it's right here. I should follow her. Where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. I have better people to speak to. Wallow in your self-made grief, Ebbers. Go then. Why linger here? I mean, there was nothing really nice I could say. What's going on? I said, "Don't fucking attack me this time."
Go, Zulin. Yeah, I suspected it was that tree over there. Together. <laughs> hey, Vol, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Hunmold. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <clears throat> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is cool. Quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorf of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wife's old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should... Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no Grimsby. time to lose. After you. Grimsby. <laughs> That's another place in England if you Nothing didn't know. Nothing like oh, drinking God. and riding to jostle your troubles away. <laughs> Where is Grimsby? I think it's near Lincoln. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? Ah. Uh. You can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect them. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. 
but give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. Like it? No, I didn't. No, no, I don't. Okay, I thought I was given two more skill points. I mean, I probably was about to put them on already. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Squad. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. What do you see, Sunim? Sword guy running off. Father, give me strength to survive this. Struck Eivor! That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Fuck's my man, I love you, man. Yeah, I've got the other mission after this, and then I think that might be the final mission of this act. Hopefully. Grimsby. Is this Grimsby? Alright, okay. I'll go over all the synchronization points, I think, in this area after this. Oh, thank the heavens! There she is! Penval, I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilt it without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. 
Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunvald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunvald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunvald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Right, cool. Yeah, we're not actually like a million mile. Okay, we're. Um, I think we're out here now. We're in Grimsby. <laughs> Why would you want to stay in Grimsby? <laughs> I'm sorry. There you are, my good friend. Let's get out of Grimsby quickly. <laughs> I've actually never been to Grimsby. I haven't really been up north before. I'd like to uh, in England because I say I want to go to all these other countries, yet I haven't really explored my own country. <laughs> Let's make our way to the other mission. Just over the hour mark now on the uh, on the episode. The series could be over in four videos, but well, in four streams time. I've been playing an arc every day, so like I've been doing two streams a day or two episodes a day on each arc. Saturday I'm recording, so on Monday, say so I, I I say recording. I'm streaming this, but I I just pretend I'm not. I got to get the game done over just before Cyberpunk, or at least so the la there's like a few parts left or something like that. That's what I mean. And as I said, I just gotta keep doing these streams and trying to get the arcs done quickly as I as quickly as I can. Usually, you won't see this extra stuff me or, or in videos going between place to place. Technically, by default, this is the longest series that I've ever played on my channel. If I was doing 20-minute videos, because this would be at least at least about 50 videos going up to what I, uh, to the Suffix. I might not have even done videos actually on these ones potentially. Oh shit, I just found a bit on the order. Who did I find out? Oh nice, I found out one of them. I didn't even realise. Nice. Havilok, who is the uh, the bill hook. Where is this man? And this from the Koza Gill. Alright, okay, well, we'll go and get rid of him at some point. I think Falke is going to be the main enemy of, like, the, um, the brother storyline between Sigurd and Ivar. Ivar, sorry. Ivar, I've already killed. Hey, Nelfgaard. It's an impressive amount of values to be seen. We're right. I am getting lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. 
You're flush with the land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man, but not your riches from this lonely hill. It's not brave, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Unbeor. The report's untimely passing. He left here here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. I just got, just got this new bow. I thought you might like it. Now, now, now. I just got this new bow. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave us to the politics and shire modes. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're on hunting or fruit picking. Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. Alright, okay, got a new bow. Let me just go and uh, swap the old one out. The thing is, its attack though is. In, though to be fair, it's stun. 98. The thing is, that is. N I mean, I'll use it for this mission, but I don't think I'm going to be using it for. So it's the old turn. I'll swap the bows back out after this mission. They say that I'm game back then.
Oh, the Turned into killing some Marcians. What a mess! A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. Your man had many riches, Alfgard. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. I've all changed the bows back over because that one's the better one out of the two. Got two more skills so I can get into the 140s. Oh, I could have.
Just getting away from the, uh... So I can fast travel. Let Callan touch your thingy. Should be the final act here of the uh Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious <laughs> to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today. Well, he's a bit of an annoying cunt, I but I feel like he will he probably be the best to control. Let's just go straight for it. Uh, fuck it. Let's just go. A vote for Let's have a look. Will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Let's have a look. So I could actually, but then. Yeah. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. O Odin's a bit dick, isn't he, in this? <laughs> so, well, I'm not going with him, so that, so that's just not happening. <laughs> Hunwald or Alfgar? I think I say his name, Alfgar. I'm going to think. Hunwald does like Danes, he did say, and he does seem like a nice guy, but Hunwald, I feel like he should be... Here, Faith can uh, just... He's the priest, but he's fucking order, so he's not going in there. He can fall over. Uh, Hunwald... I think I might go with Alfgar, actually, because Hunwald just... He doesn't look like... You need to be strong when you're um, in charge, when you're leading something. Honwolf isn't that strong. <laughs> but maybe he could be. Hmm. Does it matter which person I I choose? Hmm? Ah, uh, you know what? I will go with The thing is, would I the thing is, Hunwald, I feel like, would aid at a time of need, but would Halfgar? Here, Faith, I'm not doing. He can. He, he's, he's a member of the Order, so I'm not doing him. 
I'm not voting for him. He is out of the picture completely. That was the easiest decision to make. But then again, Alfred is strong. He would fight in battle. And I feel like he would come when called upon. As well, though. What is the best option here? What would you say you think is the best option? Think about it. We're about to have a massive battle. We need the we need Lincolnshire to help us. I am gonna go with Hunwald would be easier to control as well. He would listen to me for more advice than Elfgo. Let's go with Hunwald. Why not? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. All right, I can consider. Let's see what. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally. Let's go with Hunwald. Let's go with Hunwald. Hunwald's yeah, you know. Most can't both go along. Let's go with Hunwald. Yeah, I'm gonna go with him. It's a hard. It's hard to make a vote because I do like the other guy, but. I don't know, do you really think he'd be willing to... He could be, but you don't know. It is decreed by this lawful Shiremoot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be... ...son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord. Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I felt like I, he could be a good leader. I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well... I will do my best for each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic okay. rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace, what is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Here, Faith. <laughs> yeah, the Koza, I knew it. I knew it. One, because I could see it was clearly him, because I think I turned my brightness up way too. Okay, didn't. Oh. 
bastard bishop. What's his endgame? Because he's a member of the order. I thought he was in your face the entire time, one. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? Kill him first. That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. It was obvious. Well, one, because my brightness is way too high up and I could see that it was his face. But still. The Koza is here for the, I guess how you say his name. We're actually nearly an hour and a half here, which is what I said to do the cap for these, but uh, it's fine. If it goes a few minutes over, it's not a big deal. It's not really a big deal. If it's like an hour and 40 minutes, it's... We need to find him. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Alright, well... There's a fifth chapter. Bishop here first. You bastard. Then again, I already knew it was you from the moment I saw you. Fucking tic tac head is dead. Tic tac head is dead. Bitches. I don't know. I got a little bit faster, please. You're in trouble now, you dirty little fraud department. Hunwald. We've learned that Herivrith rode for the fort at Anicastri following the massacre. I have assembled a feared there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Selderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp, and we'll find out together. Christ. Yeah, this episode might be a little bit longer than I expected. Um... Of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? That's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man. If a little soft, but stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. 
One verse of our song remains unsung. The den of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Archer He's Irish, the other uh, guy. She and Herivrit were so close. behind me. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, we but... We are work. the men of Lincolnshire! Right. Here's the camp, do you see? The feared will soon be... Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Here's the camp. Do you... mm. <sighs> this will be the longer. This will be a longer part. Probably the longest part <laughs> in the entire playthrough, honestly. And then again, that depends about the last video. The last video there can be as long as it can be. Yeah, as long as it can be. Hour and thirty, as I said, the longest. But I did say, but what I also said was, until I finish each arc, I probably should have done what I did at the beginning of this episode in the last one. But I thought, since we was already on chapter three, I didn't realize there was five chapters altogether. I only thought each arc only had four chapters max. Let's go. Is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Let's go help the battering ram out. Thank you. With me, oh. This is a bit more of a uh, better battering ram because it's not the one that we just have to ram into. Okay, that is breaking. Thank you. 
go. Charge. Kill that bitch. You point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scamperous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Said this. Christ is sure that the are Let's get into this church. Getting to the top, it's probably a way in. Um, for oh, fuck's sake, could it just be a little bit more obvious, maybe? Is there not like a fucking window I can just jump through? No, 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 climb up the thing you stupid cunt! Keep our wits about us. <laughs> 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 
should have lived as the ancient folly of mankind here at Red. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Nice. Hopefully that's just my laptop, is it? Yeah, because my phone seems fine, okay, cool. I think it's just my laptop having internet issues. My phone's fine. About 100 an hour and 40 minutes in, sorry. 100 minutes in, which is an hour and 40. Okay, right, hopefully uh, this will be like the last cutscene. Bishop dead. He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. You fought well, ferocious swan. Notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal. And stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her. Very nice. Oh, got some skill points. Opens up a new area over here, 143 now. God, I've got up 10, which is good. Just speak to Randy real quick and then I'll end this episode off. Jesus, this one I should have done a little bit more. I didn't think it would be this long. <laughs> um, like, it would have been half an hour shorter, this video would have been most likely. Because I would have just done the other. I would have done the. the next mission in the last one, but oh well. It's not a big deal. Oh, there goes another member of the Order. We've found another member as well that we'll need to kill at some point. He's probably hanging around Lincolnshire somewhere. He's in the same group. Yeah. Let's go speak 
Mr. NV. Lincolnshire arc has been completed. It did it. Did. Eivor. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well. Should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. There we go, Lincolnshire is aligned. Very good. Let me just see if there's any more that has opened. I want to see the alliance map. So we just got Essex. Suffix, which obviously I'm going to do Essex next for the next two videos, and then Suffix after that. We still got these two up here. I don't, as I said, uh, I don't know if I'll ever do these in videos, so I'll just do them for myself. It really, de I don't know. It really depends if this is like the ending of the story of uh, Ivor and um, his brother, but we'll find out. I have changed my mind. All right, then, guys. Let me just. Uh... I should go. Let me just go back, as I said, to my room, as I usually do. Over here. Alright, okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching here. This one's a bit long. Oh, the message has come. Sorry. Oh, great. No, no. Sorry, let me just do this first. Then I'll end the video. Okay. Well, I'll read that in a bit. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave it here for today, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, bye.